Welcome back everybody. Do you all have a way to have heat in your vehicle? Whether it be a car, truck, semi, etc. Have you guys thought about if you encountered an emergency in your vehicle? Whether it be a winter blizzard, some serious cold situation in the middle of winter, winter storm, hit black ice and end up in a snowy ditch, or maybe it's an inexperienced driver makes a mistake, causes a multi-car pileup in freezing conditions. Even a cold weather traffic jam. It's cold out, it's freezing. Your car runs out of gas because there was a wreck two miles up the road. They're waiting on an ambulance and you're sitting in your car with an eighth tank of gas that runs out. Or maybe you have unexpected car issues in the middle of that traffic jam. Your car dies. And all of this in freezing conditions. If you actually stop and think about if you were in that predicament on a freeway, snow's coming down, do you have everything in your trunk to make a long walk in the freezing temperatures? A lot of people just chalk it up to it probably won't happen to them. The question is, do you have a good plan to stay warm in your vehicle in case of an emergency in cold conditions? If you would like an easy DIY option so that you are prepped for a situation like that, then let's show you how to make this emergency prep. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna need a few tools, a few tools, a few supplies. Most of this stuff, if not all of it, you should have at home. And that's the idea. I try to think up of things that you guys probably most likely have at home so that this is built for everyone. Now, I don't think anyone else does this because I drummed this up in my head the other day. So it's another one of my wild ideas that probably ain't a bad idea. Tools, needle nose, pliers, a wire, hanger unless you have some thinner wire some craft wire some thin welding wire thin hanger will also work just fine i found this wire this had come out of some packing box that was holding something to cardboard and this happens to be some thin welding wire it works great you're going to need a jar this is kind of like i would say on the larger side of jar you need if you have a small jar like this this would be super ideal this type of situation, it's gonna last for like a week. And it's got the nice little screw on top lid, which will work perfect. Small little hors d'oeuvre type jars or a small jam jar would work perfect. But a small canning jar will work great too. So in another video, I showed people how to make a Crisco candle that lasts 72 days, burning it eight hours a day. It's an amazing DIY light and heat hack biggest thing I like about these Crisco candles are that they last a very long time. A lot longer than a regular candle and I seriously burn them all the time. The one in the background right there is a Crisco candle and it's going strong. I've been using that same candle over and over for hours on end for six months now. It doesn't even look like I've hardly used it. So let's get with this Crisco candle heater and light source in your vehicle. You're gonna take some wire Take that wire, wrap it around your jar twice. You're gonna clip it, got your needle nose pliers. We're gonna use this thinner wire just because it's a little bit easier, but if you don't have this, you can make a wire hanger work just fine. So you're gonna wrap it around halfway, halfway. See that? Just like that. And you're gonna take and twist right here and right here. Look, so it's gonna look something like that. You're gonna wrap it around and you're gonna have these two tails sticking out. And you wanna twist it until it gets nice and snug. Okay, so once you get it all twisted up like that, you can see it's got quite a few twists. Then you trim your tails. Just tuck that in. Tuck it in. Now you've got two little ears right here, just like that. 
what the heck, we'll chop this coat hanger up just to show you. So now you can leave this hook. This hook right here will hook right on your rear view mirror really nice. So you just gotta get some legs on here long enough to go around or hang down low enough. In this case, I'll trim it about 12 inches from the hook. Then you'll lay them both together and trim the other side, same distance. Now this wire is a little bit more rigid, so you don't need to necessarily twist it too much, but I'd come up about, oh, an inch or so. Get a nice hook on there, just like so. The other side. When, so now when you use the coat hanger, all you gotta do is put a bend in like that. It's gonna hold a lot of weight. Now, if it were the thinner wire, I would wrap it up and I'd do a few loops around it. But this is what it's looking like so far. The next thing we're gonna do is grab some, some Crisco. Now I know not all countries have Crisco. Crisco is a vegetable oil shortening. I would not recommend eating it, but it works great for candles. I've made the joke before. See the little flame right there? That's what it was intended for. It's not really a flame, it's an oil, but you go back in the history of Crisco, people say it could have been a flame because of what it was originally used for before it became food. So in the past, I've shown you, you can use your microwave as this is a prep, preparing it ahead of time before the emergency happens, you can use a microwave. I got criticized on using the microwave because they're like, how are you gonna use your microwave when you lose power? I'm like, it's a prep. You get it done before you have the emergency. But in this case, we're just gonna use a spoon because it's super simple. So the reason I like using a microwave, and it doesn't need to be a microwave, you could use a pot on a stove or whatever, is you when you can melt it and pour it in, you don't get the air bubbles. But the air bubbles aren't gonna be a huge factor because as this thing melts down, it's gonna take it's gonna take this thing a million years to get to the bottom of it anyway. So in a realistic emergency, you probably will only use it down to about here. So these air bubbles won't won't matter. Also, if it does heat up, it just melts down, your candle burns down a little bit lower, and you're still good to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a candle down. Now this candle, I've had some feedback from some folks that are having difficulty with their candles they're buying. We don't know if they're cheap candles or what, but they're just, they're acting super limp. There's some bad candles out there. The candle's flopping over while it's lit and putting itself out. As you can see behind me, I don't ever have that issue. So I don't know what type of candles they're using, but these candles right here are made by Luminescence Taper Candles, in case you wanna use the exact ones I use because I don't ever have an issue. Now back to the Crisco. If you don't have Crisco, we've got a lot of viewers in the UK, I think over there. It's called Cooking. It's called Flora White over on the other side of the pond. But like I said before, essentially it's just vegetable oil shortening. I've heard a lot of people use lard and other oils. Is it gonna catch on fire? No, it's not gonna catch on fire. This would have to reach over 400 degrees to actually catch on fire. There's a lot of trolls out there that like to scare people, talking about how dangerous it is. This will not catch fire unless it reaches over 400 degrees. This thing is gonna probably be in a cold climate where it's trying to keep you alive, keep the inside of your vehicle warm so that you don't struggle through an emergency. We have filled our jar up to the bottom rim right here. So we're gonna take this candle, we're gonna put it upside down, mark just below the top of the rim right there. You're gonna cut it right there. We're gonna take this candle and we're gonna slide it right down the center, all the way down. So then there's the top of the jar. That's what you're looking like on the inside. 
all this Crisco around here is gonna melt down, level out when you finally use it. Now, the reason I came up with this idea is because when this gets in a hot climate, this will liquefy. So the idea is to put this in your car with your winter emergency bag. Everyone should have a winter emergency bag in their car, in their vehicle, in the winter. And there's lots of lists on YouTube of what you should have in that emergency bag. This should be in that bag. In case it got too hot, or in case you forgot to take it out and it turns summer, and this thing turns to liquid, that's why it's a jar with a lid. Now you know at least this is not gonna make a mess if it did turn to liquid in an emergency situation in the winter, you go to grab your jar that you put in there a year and a half ago, and your candle's all dislodged and the shortening sideways up against the glass, it's easy. You just reach in there, pull your candle out, reset it right into the center. Now you can make other apparatuses in here with wicks and wire suspensions to keep the wick in the middle and stuff. That works too. I've also had people comment that you can use cotton, cotton shirt, different things. This guy right here, you can hook your, your lid thing right here. You could wrap this all the way around like that and then put this down inside your bag. It's ready to go. So now you can go to like Hobby Lobby or some craft store and buy them already ready to go. Then all you gotta do is go through the steps of adding your Crisco, your candle, put the lid on there, and make something a little bit taller than this that will loop around your rear view mirror. Here's another example of that one. Super simple. You can pick these up at craft stores. You can find them online. I'll most likely leave links down in the description below for most all this stuff I can find on Amazon in case you guys shop on Amazon. If not, go to your craft store. They should have just about everything. So now this one's been burning for an hour. You can see it, it acts just as a candle would. It melts around the flame a little bit, you got a top liquid area, and that's about it. Now on a vehicle, this is gonna be putting off a good amount of heat for that small space. It's gonna make a big difference. All right, guys, moment of truth. We're stuck in a traffic jam. I don't know what just happened to my truck. It's off, won't start. I think the battery's dead. It looks like there's a, a wreck about two miles ahead of me. There's a blizzard out there, it's cold. Doesn't look like we're going anywhere for a while. So let me go get back there in my winter emergency bag and grab what I need. There we go, hanging from the rear view mirror. You can hang it from the front or the back. I made it long enough to where I can hook it from the front. Oh, so it just goes down, hooks back. Nice thing about these wires is you can just bend them. You can tell that that thing could handle about 10 of these by weight. Some people have asked, does the Crisco smell like you're at McDonald's or something? No, the Crisco doesn't have hardly any scent at all that I've ever smelled. Grab my big old wool blanket. Super smart to have a big wool blanket. One of the best type of blankets you could have in this environment. Down is also another great option. Don't let yourself get in a freezing situation in your vehicle, in your car, trapped in the cold, in your truck, your semi. Having a flame in your vehicle will make such a big difference on the temperature of the cab. Not only does it give you light, but it also gives you warmth also recommended to give yourself a little bit of fresh air every once in a while crack a window make sure you guys are ready for the unexpected out in those cold extreme road conditions i hope you guys enjoyed this emergency crisco candle rear view mirror heat and light source if you guys like helpful tips like this please hit the like button subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date we've got great weekly videos Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.